Hello, hello, this is Mystic Mohawk, and I come to you today with the Divine Feminine Read. So Divine Feminine is in the energy like, dang, why they still competing with me when they know they don't compare? I mean, why are y'all still trying it? Y'all have tried so many tactics to try to defeat me, and still I rise. Still, I rise. And I'm not a bragger, Divine Feminine. Say, I'm not a bragger, says Divine Feminine. But you see that my ancestors love me. You see that I am in an energy where I am winning. So why do you consistently make yourself look bad by trying it with me? Again, I'm going to have to say, put some respect back on my name for these haters says divine feminine so since you don't want to put some respect on my name i guess i'm gonna have to show you what respect look like says divine feminine but first i want to know how y'all feel like feel like what y'all feel like about me you know since you want to play with me and don't believe that my ancestors is with me. I want to know how you ain't as feel about me since you got so much, you know, feelings and animosity and energy toward me. You know, I, how y'all feel about me, says Divine Feminine. So Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, we would like to know what is the energies of these people that do not compare with Divine Feminine yet. They stay in a competing energy with Divine Feminine. Holy Spirit, we would like to know. So these people is now in an energy where they are in a Queen of Swords energy in reverse. And when one is in a Queen of Swords energy reverse, they are emotionally unbalanced. This woman conceals her feelings. She conceals her emotions. However, she may be conceited. She's not a true friend. She gossip and she is the queen of betrayal. In other words, don't trust this one here. This one ain't to be trusted. She ain't on friend status. She's a true foe. So yeah, let's, let's let us know what's going on with these other emotions of this true friend of me. And to me, karmic. Yes, this karmic is in the three of swords energy in reverse. And when one is in the three of swords energy, they are in constant battles. They are having constant arguments. They are in an energy where they involves everyone in their problems. They, they are not a person they, that protects their feelings. They get online and tell their business to everybody. They have many emotional barriers. They stay in denial. They stay in envy. They stay in jealousy. They stay all up and through their feelings. Yes. They are the queen of betrayal. They are the queen of having flaws within their self. And when they see something or someone that they remind them of something that they're not like, that's a big trigger for this person. And you are a trigger, divine feminine, because they cannot be like you. That's why they always competing with you where they do not compare. Holy Spirit, what is another energy of this person? that does not compare to divine feminine. Yes, this person stays in a nine of wand energy in reverse, yes. This person is always, always on a defensive. So divine feminine be prepared because this person is in a assault and attack mode. Yes, this person is surrounded by drama. This person is surrounded by envy hate trouble and narcissistic tendencies this person is in a setback mode 
because everything that they tried to put in fruition did not manifest. So, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, we come to you today in a energy of divine feminine saying, you blaming all this failing on me, yet you still try to compete with me where well, you do not compare. Please stay out of my energy, says Divine Feminine. And I am using my cards. I am using my Adjust Your Crown cards that is available in my Etsy shop. Since people want to talk about Divine Feminine and be all in her energy, let's let her know why she addressing, adjusting her crown and saying, get up out my energy because you do not compare to me. So why are you over there competing with me? I'm over here minding my business, Donna dear. I could care less about what you're doing. But since my success trigger you so much, let's trigger you some more, Donna dear, says Divine Feminine. Since you are in a trigger enemy energy, since Divine Feminine wants to trigger you, yes, we are going to use my divine, my divine, my uh, my cause, Divine Feminine, adjusting your crown. Yes, that's available in my Etsy shop. Since we want to be all up in Divine Feminine's energy, let's see how Divine Feminine is adjusting her crown. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, yes. Says those around Divine Feminine want to be all in her energy and want to be all in her business. Let's just get into the energies of why they all up in her energies because they know they do not compare to Divine Feminine, yet they continuously try to compete with a person that's silent. I'm trying to figure out how do you compete with one that do not know you? Do not know anything about you, but yet you consistently compete with this person. And this person is not paying you. No, never mind. Yes, we would like to know. Holy Spirit. Okay, so the first card that wanted to come out is, this person is tormented. This person is tormented at your success. This person is in a vengeful and hate mode because of your success. This is why this this person is constantly in an energy where they feel that they have to compete with you because they are tormented by your success. They are tormented that you ignored them. They are tormented with the fact that you paid them no mind. You went about your business and you did you and you focused on you. Yes. They are in an energy where they are crying out for help. This person needs to really go seek therapy because they are really obsessed with you. They are obsessed with what you do with your life. They are obsessed how you make your money. They are obsessed that you did not get in their energy and fuss and fight and argue with them and be in low vibrational energy. You know why? Because this next card that came out is dysfunctional family. This person does not know how to communicate with others. All they know how to do is fuss and fight and use narcissistic behaviors because this is all this person is accustomed to. This person that will not sit down with one and have an adult conversation, they just want to fight, argue, and fuss. This is why they cannot compete with the divine feminine. Because Divine Feminine, if she have an issue with you, she's going to say, Sir, ma'am, this is what I do not like about you. So if you have an issue with me, please bring it to me. Don't take it over there to Sally Sue. Go run your mouth to little JoJo around the corner and little Ray Ray and Pookie now. If you got an issue with me, be an alpha female like me, says Divine Feminine. Don't go run your mouth about me, dog. You have an issue with me, bring it to me like a woman. Don't go around running your mouth about things because, you know, uh, sneak dissing gets your teeth missing. And real women, you have an issue with a real woman, you're going to take it up with a real woman. And if a real woman don't like what you has to say about her, she's going to respectfully tell you what she has to say about you and she's going to step on like I told a person of mine, seven years has went by and they were very disrespectful to me. 
They were very disrespectful to my child. And my son is autistic, and they said something very disrespectful about autistic children. And I said I would never say anything to them because this person is closed-minded and this person needed to grow up. Now, however, because my child was on their way, my son playing on his last year in school, you know, it's all these things that, these nice things that they want to say about my child. Excuse me, I have not forgot the disrespectful things that you had to say about children with autism. I have not changed my stand. Seven years has went by. I have not said anything thing to you so please keep your distance like I told them and they're gonna say oh man you a little girl you need to grow up you still holding on to something that was seven years ago no I'm not holding on anything that was seven years ago darling like I said when I stop messing with you when you show me what kind of snake person you are I don't care how many years went ago you can call me petty all you like but when you talk about my youngest and say something derogatory about a child that's autistic, then we have a problem. We have nothing else to say to each other because you show to me how small-minded of an adult you can be. Anyway, so, but that's what they do because this person that I'm talking to have a dysfunctional issue because they don't talk to each other. They don't say, hello, how you doing, Mystic? I had this issue with you. Bitch, oh! You can't talk to me like an adult. And then when I try to talk to you like an adult, they tell me, oh, <clears throat> excuse me, you using your tactics, you try to talk to me like you talk to people in the courtroom. No, I'm being respectful to you. I'm not using hateful tones. I'm not calling you out your name. I'm not doing any of those things. So why, if I came out your mouth and said so-and-so, you had this issue about my child. This is why I didn't say anything to you. You, when you talk to me, you say, bitch. So let me tell you something, how I heard that situation, excuse me, like I said seven years ago, I still don't have anything to say to you, and please don't say anything else to this bitch. Have a good day, and I stepped off. I don't got time to argue with idiots, and I did not. Anyway, getting back to this comment. I have, I have an issue with that because karmic is one of those people that do not know how to communicate with others unless they're arguing and fighting because this is a custom that she's, this is a behavior that she's uh, accustomed to, the arguing and fighting without communicating and sitting down with one another because this next card that comes out is family dysfunction. <laughs> Excuse me. And she always goes through a situation where when she feels like things don't go her way or she feels like you are winning, she gets her friends to get online and figure out what's going on with you. But however you have pulled back your energy, however you are not posting a lot of things that you were online and it's like you have ghosted the whole situation, she's now in an energy where she don't know how to move because she don't see you moving. And she's in a played out kind of energy. And the owl divine said it's game over for this thoughtful like behavior kind of woman. So we have game over. No, we have played out way of thinking of the karmic. It's game over for the karmic. The thoughtful, the sexual advances, the sexual intentions, it isn't working for this thoughtful like person behavior anymore. The fake love, straight up to your face, isn't working for this person anymore. Divine Masculine does not see her in a light that he's seen her before. He knows about her sneaky ways. He knows that she's a cyber bully. He knows that she's a keyboard bully and go online and start all kinds of truths about people. Again, she don't communicate with others. She go online and tell everyone her business. This stupid cyber bully. You are being bullied, Divine Feminine. Online, they are in your business. And they are suffering from what they see. This karmic. What else about this comic that puts them in an energy where they feel like they need to stop competing? Oh, baby, when they found out, baby, when they found out that Divine Masculine is still in an energy where he want to be bothered with you, baby, 
He is in the energy where they burnt, they bust the windows out his car, baby. So we have a karmic over here doing those um, karmic-like tendencies. And she's burning her bridges with everyone. The next card that comes out is burning bridges. Yeah. And baby, because of your success and you're not paying them no mind, this one here is plotting on your downfall and trying to ruin your reputation. Again, being in an energy where they don't compare to you, so they try to compete with you by trying to dig up dirt for you. Nah, baby, Divine Feminine is not a comic. You can dig all you want to, baby girl. You ain't going to find no dirt on Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine is not like you. Divine Feminine is not a wolf in sheep's clothing. Divine Feminine is not a shapeshifter. When she meet people, she sends her representative. That's the good person that she knows. Oh, I go to church. I'm saved. I'm this. I'm that. Then when you meet the real comic, I'm a bitch. I fuck your friend. I fuck little JoJo and them around the corner up in Clay Turs and things. I fuck little Rob over there for them for MCM purse. Oh, yeah. I'm that comic that shake my ass and ain't shaking my ass with classy with something to do. Like shake your ass to finish your tuition in school. Not just shake your ass for a pair of Gucci shoes. Yes. This whoop in sheep clothing that sent their representative, Divine Masculine, is, is finding out that true person behind that comic. Yes. What else is he finding out about this comment? Oops. What else is he finding out about this comment? Holy Spirit. That she's a big mouth gossiper. This is what she do. She's a clout chaser. She chased clout. This is why she's always in a third party. Yes. Honey darling dear. And she do not like your shine baby. Your light, Divine Feminine, irritates this demon. Because she made bad choices. And now she is in a COVID-19 energy where, no, it's not trying to be funny, but you know, not trying to be funny, but it says COVID-19, do not stay in contact with sick people. So this call here means your ass need the quarantine. Don't nobody want to be around you. Everybody look at you like a sick bitch. And I'm not saying nothing about COVID-19 because my dad had it. And I, that is a hurtful feeling. And he's still going through it almost a year later. But this card represents stay your sick ass away from me. Go get quarantine. I stay the hell away from sick people. Because what? Use a damn spiritual way to say it's divine feminine. You are one that do not care about no one but yourself. And you hate the fact that I am spiritually inclined. You hate the fact that my ancestors love me. Says divine feminine. What else do this one hate? You are a creativity hater, says Divine Feminine. You try to steal my trial. You try, mm, you try to steal my child, my style. You try to steal my ideas. You try to copy me. You duplicate me and you feed off my energy. And you mad. You energy. You creativity energy monster. You mad because I took my energy back and you walking around looking simple. This is why you're drinking. Because I pulled my pink print back. This is why you're drinking. Because you ain't shit. This is why you're drinking. Because you're chasing. And the next card that comes out is this ain't shit bitch. Is chasing divine masculine now. Because he don't want her. And she wanted to be known she bisexual. Mm-hmm. She does both sexes. She was a shapeshifter on that. Divine masculine ain't find out that she black both sexes until he started dealing with her. Because she was always in an energy where she was saying, let's get a room. And she stayed in the energy where she is a toxic lover with all her lovers. She's a snake. Mm-hmm.
and divine masculine is in the energy where he tired of it because he feel like you blocked him and he feel like you telling him he's a groupie with all the females that he got divine feminine say you will continue to be blocked my friend because i look at you like a groupie this is all you want is a whole bunch of females around so you can dick deep says divine feminine i don't want you around because all you do is pull my fuckery out your ass divine masculine and no i'm not unapologetic for blocking you sorry i'm not sorry sorry you got caught says divine feminine I do not want to be in an energy where I'm looking up symptoms from dealing with you, Divine Masculine. I am just an empress dealing my empire, and I'm going to continue to build without you. I'm going to get my, stabi my stability without you. I know this is how you look at me like a queen building her empire. I know you look at me like I am stability. And I look at you like you stagnant and stuck, says Divine Feminine. And I look at you like your ass is still under them magic spells. And I don't want none of your bad karma coming over here to me, Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. And I know your ass is over there crying. You're over there tear jerking. You're crying. I'm crying. Yeah. So the next three cards that comes out is cut it with the bullshit. I know you stagnant and stuck. No, it was mind fuckery. I know about your mind and fuckery that you did to me. You thought I was going to be stagnant and stuck. And now that I don't want to deal with you, your ass is over there crying tear jerk. You're in denial, divine masculine, because I don't want you back. You're in divine, you're in denial, divine masculine, cause your ass is broke. You in divine, you in denial, cause you thought you had that bad bitch, but you got that sneaky bitch. The one that's always in your business, the one that fuck your friends, the one that steal your money. Yeah, her. That's the bitch that you got that chills over me. Yeah, the bitch that's always in my business. This bitch got her mask on behind the computer stalking. Damn, bitch. That's serious. Mm. Mm. And Divine Masculine is in the energy where this karmic is always looking through his phone. He's always intoxicated and he broke his head dealing with this karmic. So, the karmic goes through his phone. Yes. He's always intoxicated and drunk because of the situation and the choices that he choose. He's now in a situation where his ass is broke. And this comes out as he's no, he's not, he ate, he's not able to keep up with his whore because this came in reverse. And this card represents pay before you lay. Pay to play. So this came in reverse. Divine Masculine has no more money to pay to play against this comic. Because what? He's always thinking about Divine Feminine. And Divine Feminine said, I know your ass is broke. Because you made the wrong choices because your ass was confused. Again, Divine Feminine said, Divine Feminine says, Divine Feminine says, your ass is broke and you stay in that broke ass energy that broke ass confused energy because you fucked up and you chose the wrong bitch what else is you saying divine feminine what else is you saying divine feminine yes Divine Feminine say, I know your focus should be on me. I know your focus is on me. Your focus should be on your pole dancing, bitch, that ain't making your money because both of y'all broke. She says, nah, baby, I know you don't want no commitment. I know you are a narcissist, Divine Masculine. 
and you keep on saying that you are uh, going through these situations because black magic was done on you and you can't see clearly and I am telling you divine feminine I am still uninterested in your toxic ass says divine feminine I am still uninterested uninterested in your toxic ass you thought divine masculine you play a stupid game and you want a stupid prize and that was the comment you got yourself a damn zipper flapper yes as soon as i said a zipper flapper that's one zip say zip and sit zipper flap that's a zipper flapper so when i said zipper flapper these cards fell on the floor a zipper party that's a zipper flapper that stays in third party energy a zipper flapper that has mental issues a zipper flapper that does sex magic a zipper flapper that's a hater. Yes. A zipper flapper that stays in divine feminine's energy. Looking her up. A zipper flapper that put divine masculine in an unrequited love situation like he put you in. A zipper flapper that goes divine masculine as he glows to you divine feminine now divine feminine divine masculine is having a reality check on how he treated divine feminine and who comes up the dime feast divine feminine however he got a bugaboo bitch and divine feminine is still unbothered the next card that comes out is divine feminine unbothered yes divine feminine knows about this envy you have about her yes divine feminine knows that you live for the gram, the next card that comes out is facade. I do so much for social media. So this envious person, Divine Feminine, says, I know you're envious of me, you bitch that's always in a facade and always in an energy where you're doing it for the gram. What other energies Divine Feminine says she is in? Oh, uh, you a happiness hater, says Divine Feminine. This is why you hate me and always compare yourself to me because you hating on my happiness. You thought I was going to be over there stagnant and stuck calm. But the tables has turned, my darling dear. And this is why you have a threatening energy towards me. Do I care? No, I don't give a fuck. I don't care about how you feel about me, darling, dear. Keep on saying your threats, baby. I'm supposed to be scared of a threat. That's what I'm not scared of, baby. Because all you is is a shit talker, says Divine Feminine. And the next card that comes out is shit talkers. Oh, this a threatening, lay down threats. But she's a shit talker. Okay, that's all. Mm -hmm. That one. Divine Feminine said, I'm moving on from this bitch. Thank you. I have moved on, baby. Why are you consistently in my energy? Why are you consistently comparing myself where you pick, compare yourself where you don't even compete with me, darling? Keep your crazy ass over there. You and your bad habits. Keep your crazy ass over there. You and your bad habits. I don't care about you. I don't care what I said you don't compare to me. So why do you do it? Yes, you're nothing but a mattress bag. Continue to use your lower extremities, baby. This is what you good for. Bitch, you are so dumb. You got caught in your own thoughts. This is why you think you're you on my level.
You are a, 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 a divine feminine say, you think I don't know you off the hook? You think I don't know you a backstabbing bitch that's always in my energy? And you in my energy because you know I defeated your ass. The next card that comes out is feeling defeated. Mm-hmm. Divine Feminine say, yes, bitch. I know you off the hook. I know you one of them backstabbing bras. But I also know you feeling defeated. This is why you always in my business. This is why you mad at me because I pull back my energy. This is why you mad at me because everything that you tried to do, I sent it back. Now you feeling defeated. Mm-hmm. That's why. Oh, now you got a cloud of judgment. Yeah, you did have a cloud of judgment because you thought you can fuck with divine feminine. You thought you could fuck with divine feminine, but you thought wrong. Because her ancestors are protecting her. Mm-hmm. You thought wrong because she covered in the blood of Jesus. This is why your mind is clouded. And this is why you obsessed with divine feminine. Mm -hmm. This is why you obsessed. This is why you played with her. Because you didn't know she was a divine feminine. Mm -hmm. This is why you copycat her. Look at divine feminine. She's the pretty one that the light shines on. This is the copycat bitch. And the next card that comes out is wanna be me copycat bitch. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And this copycat bitch is so ever triggered that you win. And the next card that comes out is facts. And I'm going to drop the mic on that with if new. 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 Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, you know, see, since these people keep on trying to compete. And we and Divine Family know she's covered. How do you want her to move today, Holy Spirit? How do you want this divine feminine to move? You know what I'm saying? Since all these people competing with her, when they don't compare to her. Okay. He will, oh, divine feminine, this is what I want you to hear, collect it. He will never leave you, nor forsake you. So do not be afraid. Do not be occurred. And do not be discouraged. Deuteronomy 3, 31, 8. And I ain't even gonna put another one because I'm gonna say that one again. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. So do not, my child, be discouraged or dismayed. Deuteronomy 31 8. Our Father wants you to know. Let me read this one more time. He will never leave you nor forsake you my child so do not be afraid nor be discouraged Deuteronomy 31 and we don't even need to speak no more if you like my vibe like share and subscribe and go out here in this world today and be great on purpose because you are